Hey there everyone, welcome to this episode of the Outdoor Gear Review where today we are taking a look at the Field Tarp. This is the United States Marine Corps reversible Field Tarp with the Marpat camo pattern. Now you guys have seen this tarp over the years with the channel in Adventures, I did a review on this, and recently you guys saw this in a military surplus overnight adventure. You will find a link down below to that if you're interested in seeing this in action briefly. This is a product even after all the years of use that I still love. This is a great tarp. It has some really cool features. I'm going to go ahead, set it up, go over some stats, and we'll talk more about it. As mentioned before, this field tarp is reversible. You have the Marpat camo pattern on one side, and you have a flat coyote on the other. Now when it comes to the Marpat side, you are looking at a ripstop nylon. When it comes to the coyote brown side, you are looking at a nylon that has been treated with a urethane coating. When it comes to the price of these bad boys, it really depends on condition. Finding a brand new one is very difficult. The most common location to find these tarps in very good condition is on eBay, and that will run you roughly 60 bucks. Now when you go on there to buy your tarp if you decide that you want one, you have to be very, very careful. You have to pay a lot of attention to what you are about to buy because the conditions for these will vary big time. You really need to look at each individual picture. Do not take the listing's word for it that says good or very good or anything like that. That is very subjective and it really depends on who the person is as to what the quality and the condition is. I've seen very, very good condition tarps that have holes in them for sale. You really wanna make sure that you get a complete tarp. A good condition tarp could mean that it has a six inch rip in the tarp itself. So you really need to pay attention. Also, there are knockoffs of this tarp here. So be careful, pay attention. If it says it's brand new, that's highly unlikely. In most cases, these will be used military surplus. Finding a brand new one is very difficult. If you go out to find one of these tarps, I recommend that you go out and you get the best quality that you can, get very good, excellent, and so on. This one here I picked up for 20 bucks, and this one was very good. And it has roughly two small holes here and over here. I'm going to repair those holes, and for 20 bucks, this was an awesome deal because there's no other issues with this tarp. With the quality of these tarps being all over the place, as soon as you get one, you need to set it up and do the light test. This is the light test, come on. The light test is very simple. You set up the tarp, and then you look for light shining through. So, take a look at this. So far, so good. Ah, yes, there's a burn, a hole with this tarp. So I need to repair that. So here's the second hole. Ah, yes, or holes, I should say. You will definitely want to set up your tarp and do any necessary repairs before you get it out on the trail. In my gear collection, I actually have two of these bad boys because in my opinion, they are awesome. If you can get a very good one, the quality is definitely there. If you decide that you want one of these tarps, some of them may include bungee cords with the grommets. This one did not. Of course, these are made in the United States. This is genuine military surplus. I will flash the NSN number on the screen for you all now. Now this tarp really has held up well over the years. It's amazing to me how much time has passed since the Marpat camo pattern has come out onto the market. This was introduced roughly around 2001 and it was implemented around 2002 with the Marine Corps. And over the last 15 years or so, they really have begun flooding the civilian market. What do I think about these tarps? I think they're a little bit heavy. I think they're incredibly waterproof as long as your condition is good. I think everybody should have one because this is a bad piece of kit in my opinion. The functionality is excellent. It is a little bit on the small side, but for most people, this will work just fine. If you're in a stormy situation, you really need to know how to set up a tarp correctly. If you can get it nice and low, you will be protected, no issues from the rain and wind and so on. Using this tarp in conjunction with a bivy is a fantastic way to spend the night out in the backcountry. Going further, talking about the waterproof nature of this tarp, all of the seams are taped, as you guys can see here. I have used these tarps in serious rainstorms, freezing rainstorms, and they work very, very well. And they also work well as ponchos. You can wrap yourself up in these, drape it over, and you can stay 100% dry. You can have a woovy blanket underneath it, and you can stay warm as well. With the snaps on the tarp, these are referred to as gypsy snaps. There are 24 of these, and there are male and female ends. Now, when it comes to the dimensions for this tarp, you are looking at 90 inches long and 80 inches wide. So this is big enough for most people in most situations. When it comes to tarps, it's all about the setup. It's all about the know-how. Now folks, before I end this video, I need to clarify something. 
I mentioned that I have two Marpat field tarps. I actually have three field tarps. Two of those feature the Marpat camo pattern. I actually have one that has ACU camo. And you guys will see that next week in an episode of the Outdoor Gear Review. If you have any questions for me, you know what to do. Make sure to comment down below, share your thoughts about these tarps. Until next time, strength and honor. See you guys around.